will be from November 7th to, uh, or October 7th to November 6th. Let's see what... Okay. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you check out all your signs as they all kind of form a perfect uh, rounded reading for, uh, for those of you who are watching the generals. All right. I'll get started here. What angels, what messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Ellen, and Venus, and love for the next 30 days? All right. In your past, you have the Four of Swords. Happy birthday to those Libras who um, have an October birthday. All right. In your present moment, you have the Seven of Cups. In your hidden, oh, way too many. In your hidden influences, the unseen problems and conflicts that you are not aware of. of aware of <laughs> hidden influences. Okay, I'm here and I got to take them. So you got the Hermit, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, heavy Virgo energy there, could be Pisces. We also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, uh, Scorpio there. In your position, you have the Devil and the Eight of Swords. In the influence of others. You have the Fool, could be dealing with an Aries. We got Capricorn there. Your advice. That's Libra's advice and love for October. Thank you. Ooh, the Two of Cups. And your final outcome, the Six of Pentacles. Remember, the outcomes can always change due to free will. What is unknown to you is the Knight of Pentacles, clarified with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords. A lot of um, thinking going on, a lot of truth about to be spoken, communication opening up. Um, all right, so why is the Four of Swords here in Libra's past? So I feel uh, you guys, for some of you, have been going through a dark night of the soul very strongly with that that devil card in your energy. Uh, there's also some secrets that came out or are coming out that um, are creating you the, um, the time to sit and think, to reevaluate, to decide what it is that you want to do from moving here on out. Um, completing a major karmic cycle for some of you. Um, but this is like coming, you know, full circle, being reborn. Uh, so most definitely this could be a dark night of the soul for a lot of you. Um, being reborn into that, that uh, new energy here with the fool too. So most definitely you are coming out of the worst um, part of it. Uh, it is impacting your current situation, however, because you are questioning everything now, questioning what is real, what, uh, you know, what are my beliefs right, are my thoughts, you know, are my feelings, my thoughts, everything, you're questioning everything. Um, with that seven of cups, you're so confused, but clarity is coming for you um, in the unknown, so just try to get through this current energy. You are um, also questioning people's, like, who's being honest with you, who's being truthful with you. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Libra? The King of Cups. So yeah, you are questioning people's motives. You're questioning people's feelings. Um, you're not sure who to believe, who not to believe. Could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're really wondering who's who's in it for the real deal. Because they're very quiet. Um, this person at times could have like emotionally manipulated you, um, made you believe something was something was that wasn't or something that wasn't was. 
that type of situation. Uh, the unforeseen conflicts coming towards you, there, there is something that you are not aware of yet. Um, this could be secrets from the universe. It doesn't have to be secrets from another, you know, human being. It could be, since you're coming out of this dark night of the soul, um, there's some things that just haven't been shown to you yet. Why is the high priestess here? Because you're not quite ready. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is very secretive. Yeah, uh, what, what you don't see is that there are bigger things coming for you. There are better things coming for you. Things are manifesting. Your uh, blessings are on that, on that ship that's coming in. Um, so have faith. So important to have faith on your journey. Um, you're working really hard um, on that. Working on your inner, your inner self, your inner being. Um, the problem is you have so much to give and they're only offering very little. Um, so you are, I feel, going to take a step back. Um, it could be either you or them. Why is the hermit here? Could be dealing with a Virgo, like I said. Yeah, you're going to uh, you're going to take a step away from this situation, Libra, and really see if what they are offering is what you want. The universe is trying to show you something, and it's going to be found when you go within. The only one that has the answer is you, and that is um, in your heart and soul. So you are going to see something that the universe is going to show you. Um, so don't worry about those secrets. It's going to come to light when it's meant to. And that's when that new offer, wow, will uh, emerge. So in your energy, you have the devil and the eight of swords. So let's see. For some of you, um, you could be dealing with somebody who's in jail um, due to addictions or something along those lines. Um, why is uh, why is the devil here? Yeah, you're moving. You're moving away from this this toxicity that's been in this relationship you're really um you're riding that chariot on out of the tower and you are breaking your bonds from these karmic cycles that you have been going round and round with this person you're truly seeing now what this person is or or you will be in the month of october really seeing what this person is and isn't offering you um their inconsistency their their flightiness their player ways have you very mentally stuck very confused on um what this person actually wants what you know what their intentions are um they do have true feelings for you but i just feel they're not ready to commit wow look at that in your um influence of others you are breaking free from that either capricorn or that toxic energy that once again those toxic cycles you have truly made a completion um, with this dark night of the soul, leaving the negative behind, taking the lessons, moving forward, learning to balance out your light and shadow, um, and no longer standing, uh, putting up with that devil energy. I want one more for that devil, please. Yeah, you're, you are getting out of this crossroads. You are getting unstuck and you are making plans for the future. You are now um, you feel like you're free. You're free to move forward, free to move on. Um, and it, coming out of this time of rest, this this healing time for you has been uh, very eye-opening or will be in the month of October. So your advice is the Two of Cups. Wow. The two cards. Oh, you got three that fell out with it. The three cards that are coming with that. So Spirit's advice is for you to set out on that journey, to look for that Two of Cups. Um, when you uh, set out and and move forward away from this energy, um, you are going to find your Ten of Cups relationship. You are going to find somebody who will give to you equally um, and take from you equally. Uh, a, a perfect balance, not a perfect relationship, but a relationship that flows back and forth very easily. Um, you'll take that chariot into the star um, a time of healing which I feel you've already been doing so this is all about divine timing and your wishes coming true bringing in that true love somebody who is um, a divinely guided relationship for you but it's going to take you walking away from that toxicity and and choosing your new path 
Um, but once you do, this path is leading you to your soulmate because it's it's now time. The divine has their person, the person that is meant for you, um, out there waiting to you know meet you on on your path. Um, uh, for the majority of you, I do feel it's somebody new. Um, but for some of you, it could be somebody from your past. But it's not away from the it's not the person that you had that toxicity with the you know the very inconsistent uh energy that has been in your life all right yeah the page of cups so in your potential outcome you're going to find that balance again you're going to learn that you can't give out more than you can uh than you receive you're really learning to balance out um your emotions your finances uh and you see in this six of pentacles, they are equal on both sides. It's different than some of the decks where there's uh, four on one side and three on the other. This is a, an equal balance. This is finding your partner who is going to be your equal, who is going to be that yin to your yang, the, you know, the peanut butter to your jelly type of energy. Uh, and it is going to come with a love offer. This person, it's going to start out very innocent, very you know, small, but it's going to grow into this big, um, love. And, you know, the angels have heard your prayers. They have to do a lot to, um, put the two of you in each other's paths. So much goes on behind the scenes that our angels take care of that we have no clue about. Why is the Prince of Pentacles here? Is the unknown? Yeah. So you're done waiting on this, uh, this person to get their shit together you are completing a cycle that's been very emotional, very taxing, very, um, it's been a struggle, but you will live to fight another day. You're as strong as you are because of all the battles you've been through. And by you moving forward, by you moving on and finding that balance in your life, someone is going to come in making a tangible offer to you, it is going to offer you what you, what you need, what you want. And I feel it's not very far away because... While they are moving slow, you have been moving in your own, through your own situation where the two of you can, um, you know, come together after this healing um, from this and, you know, the stars align. Yeah, no more of this. You are done. You are um, moving away from a difficult situation where there was lies, deceit, secrets. You're now seeing what the universe has been trying to show you and you're no longer putting up with this. Uh, situation where you feel you were cheated out of love or where, where you could have been cheated on um, it's different for everybody but no matter what you're getting in that boat and you're allowing yourself to leave the situation and not look back um, very positive why is the ace of swords here it's you know leaving is never easy but you're gonna you're gonna feel like that load lift right off your shoulders once you um, See how free you feel. I keep hearing you feel so free. Yeah, you're definitely in a dark night of the soul. You're in a spiritual rebirth. You are transforming into the person you're meant to be. You are almost there. You're receiving your truth and clarity in this time of rest, in this difficult situation. Um, and within the month, I do feel that um, you will be coming out of that ready to start your new life with your truth in hand, the support of the divine at your back, and just a whole new awakening, a whole new way of looking at life, looking at relationships, looking at love, and you will move forward. And there will be an offer that comes in, causing a lot of joy and celebration. You could meet this person through mutual friends. You could meet this person while out um, having fun with friends. Friends are going to be very important for you, I feel, in the month of October, Libra, if you are looking for somebody new. Okay, let's get your focus card that I forgot to pull at the beginning. All right, that was quick. You got clean it up. So it does break down to a three, which is um, birthing something new, creating something new. Let's see what the book has to say. Okay, I don't know if I've ever had this one. Okay, it says time to clear the air. Take a look at, at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so the spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage through 
Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become, become encumbered and your love life will flourish. Wow. So some of you guys also, I'm getting like, you may need to open your mail. You may need to clean, clean out your, your house, do spring cleaning. Um, because clutter collects energy, like energetic gunk. So um, really just start taking steps towards clearing out what you no longer need. Um, and that's emotionally as well. Some of you may need to have an emotional detox. Some of you may need a, you know, a, you know, a whole body detox. Um, it's time to detox the mind, body, and soul so that new offer can come in. But as long as there's that energetic clutter, there's not room for this person to come in. So it's very important to begin to, um, clean it up. All right, Libra, if this message resonated with you, join me on the Vimeo side where I will be going through blocks, actions to take, uh, long-term potential outcomes, as well as go through the Zodiac, see who's coming in, who's not. Um, as well as a full love spread with the Romance Angels with Clarifiers. It's all over there. So check me out for those of you um, who decide to not go over there. Thank you so much for joining me here as well. I couldn't do all this without you. And you are so important to my um, journey. And I am so honored and blessed to become a part of yours. So please like the video, share it, comment subscribe if you haven't yet i'm going to start doing uh lives and doing q and a's i think i'll start doing my daily uh lives so i don't have to keep uploading because that really slows um down how many videos i can put out so um if you want to start watching me daily live uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the bell or miss a notification make sure you hit the bell because for some reason lately when i go live um, I'm getting a lot of people telling me that um, they're not getting the notification. So please uh, make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell if that interests you. So, all right, guys, I will see you next time. God bless.